everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week I am recapping a week of not wearing the color black. And I did this challenge because one of my very first videos was about how you can sort of fall in love with your closet again without shopping. And one of these little tips was to try and go for five days or a week or whatever you think you can handle without wearing your go-to color or garment. Because I think this really helps us rediscover what might be lurking in our closet that we constantly ignore. I did this challenge a while ago uh, without wearing denim and that was really challenging because over black denim is my number one. Um, but I thought it's winter, we all gravitate towards black. So it was a lot of fun. But before we jump in, if you're new, welcome. Every week I talk about slow fashion with a heavy focus on the principles of minimalism. So using and loving what you already have and making smart shopping decisions so that you can create a closet full of pieces that you actually love and wear. So if that sounds like your jam, hit subscribe Hello, I post every Sunday. And for those of you who are coming back, big hello and welcome back to you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, before we jump in, I wanted to share what I learned in this whole challenge because what's the point of doing a challenge if you don't learn anything? And number two, that I am launching a newsletter and the first one is gonna go out on February 4th. You can sign up. I'm gonna put the link to sign up down below. Um, technology and I, like, I'm surprised my computer hasn't exploded yet from making videos, but I'm just not great with technology. So if there are any glitches, please let me know. It's going to be different content from what I post on here, but roundups of what I've posted, other sustainable and slow fashion resources, and of course, some exclusive discount codes to some of my favorite places to shop. And I'm doing this because at Christmas time, and you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, I thought, oh, like, I really wish I could sort of send each of you a personal note. I think I actually said that in one of my videos. And I realized that a newsletter is just the way that I could do that. So sign up if you'd like to get some more like personal notes from me. If not, then let's just jump right into what I learned for this not wearing black for a week challenge. My first lesson was that color psychology actually works. Um, because I was forced to wear lighter and brighter colors, I actually felt a little bit more optimistic and just mentally lighter from not wearing black. I still love black. It will always be my favorite, even after this week-long challenge. Um, but I did realize the power of putting something on um, and, and really how that changes the way you feel and the way you carry yourself. The second thing that I learned was I discovered my second favorite color, which you're probably gonna be like, well, that's just silly. Um, but I think this is important because it kind of stops you if, for example, you know, your favorite sweater is in the wash and you really felt like you needed it for that day, almost like a comfort thing. It allowed me to discover that there are other pieces that I feel just as great in. For me, that kind of secondary color that I'm also going to now invest more in is camel. I think it's great to know that you don't always have to gravitate towards one style or one cover. You can now feel comfortable and really confident in something that you might have been a bit more hesitant to wear before. Accessories. Because I wasn't wearing my go-to uniform of all black or dark colors all the time, it made me reach for accessories that I hadn't worn in a long time. So it helped me rediscover my accessory drawer too, which I thought was really cool because that's a whole other part of your closet that can sometimes easily get ignored. So. Let's uh, jump right in and please know that these videos are a little bit more vlog style because I filmed them daily as I was trying not to wear black for the week. So um, today is the first day and I think I'm already doing okay. Um, I'm wearing a lighter wash denim, these straight leg Levi's. I'll do like a whole rundown. A brown belt. I like that. I like the brown and earthy tones trying to stay away from the dark black. Uh, and then my thrifted ginormous men's fisherman sweater. I've had this for a couple years. I found it uh, at Value Village a long time ago. Um, so this is good. I had to wear my green moose knuckle parka today. And when I go out, I'm going to wear not even black footwear. I'm gonna wear these 
little secondhand snow boots. They're warm enough to kind of get me from A to B, but uh, I found them secondhand at a consignment shop and I just love them because they're not so bulky, but they still keep me warm and they're cute and wintry looking. Day two, and I don't think I have worn so much color in my entire life. I am driving into the city today because I have to meet one client tonight and, the ha and then I have a full day tomorrow. But um, to start, look at this yellow turtleneck, jeans, obviously, sorry, couldn't get away from that, and snakeskin booties. So it is actually really mild out today. It's only like, it's hovering above zero. So. Um, and there's snow coming tomorrow, so I've packed my winter boots. And I've added, so as not to wear my black and gray scarf, I've added this blanket scarf with red. I'm wearing my blue thrifted wool coat, which will keep me nice and warm. And red leather gloves. That's a lot of color. All right, gotta make this one short because I'm in between meetings. Um, and it's snowing like crazy. So I've got my no black outfit, uh, which I'm gonna have to put my snow boots on because this is ridiculous. But for now, for aesthetics sake, here's what I've got. My thrifted royal blue coat, my awesome scarf. I normally, I have my white, my red gloves with this normally, but um, I'm filming, so can't be wearing them. So I've got blue, blue, and then I've got, originally I had on my white little v-neck sweater, but I just felt like that was too black and white-ish feeling. So I've got my nice oatmeal men's, this is such a cozy big sweater. Um, and then I've paired it with my navy culottes. These probably look black against all of this snow, but I swear they are navy. And in the sake of not wearing black footwear, I'm wearing these gray, look at this. I'm not wearing these for long. Um, my gray over the knee boots, which I've worn tucked under these big culottes, but um, I don't wanna get these ruined. They're already like major ruined and all I've done is run from car to door really quickly. So I'm probably gonna take these off um, and throw my snow boots on. But um, when I go into clients, I'm gonna bring these boots with me. <laughs> probably should have filmed this indoors. Um, I'm gonna bring these boots with me and wear them with the whole outfit and not my big chunky snow boots. So yes, I just have to carry those gray boots with me in a little tote bag and then when I go in to see people, I change my shoes. It's not ideal, but uh, this is Canada. This is what, what it is. Day four today. This challenge, I have to say, is a lot easier than my no denim challenge. That was really tough. Um, so I get to wear my beloved blue jeans. I'm taking advantage of the fact that I'm going to be indoors all day long and I can wear things that might not necessarily be winter appropriate, but this is what I need to do to combat the weather <laughs> mentally. Um, so I'm wearing my great thrifted sweater that's kind of like got this nice crochet detail. It's a little bit see-through, but I'm adding, I added my vintage Gucci scarf, which has a little pop of color and I'm wearing my vegan leather red flats because they're comfy for around the house and um, I don't know I find I like getting dressed you know dressed even when I'm working from home because it does help me kind of get started and really treat the day seriously and treat my work seriously I don't know if any of you work at home and kind of what helps you get your day started and make sure that you stay on track but I find that wearing something you know that isn't pajamas really helps me. Today I am finding it hard. I really, I don't know if you're the same, but I really like to gravitate to darker colors during the winter season. And today it's minus 32. So even though, I'm not kidding. Uh, even though I'm inside today working from home, we are going out for dinner later tonight. So I thought I'd be really deliberate in my choices today. I'm, I grabbed this cashmere camel sweater and I decided to make kind of like a monochrome 
camel look and I tried to find everything that I had that was like brown or cognac to really create a more impactful look with camel. So brown frames, I switched out my Nord Green watch strap um, from the rose gold to the cognac brown and actually I have to say that was like really easy. I didn't need to use like a little tool or anything. Um, anyway, um, then I grabbed a vintage belt this is a nice leather, it's got great texture. And I've taken a picture for you, but just in case that doesn't work out, I'm wearing my um, Poppy Barley. This is a Canadian company. All of their boots are ethically made in Mexico and they're super comfortable. They've got a nice rubber sole. To really kind of contrast all of the brown and camels, I really like a nice dark denim. And even though it's neutral, lots of brown, um, I still, I feel like I'm, I'm actually interested in what I'm wearing and I feel good in what I'm wearing. Another day, not wearing black, I am wearing my nice light blue Levi's with the pin roll. Uh, if you don't know how to do a pin roll on denim, I have a video for you. I'll link it uh, up here in the iCards. Footwear, uh, nice snakeskin print. I feel like they're just such a good catch-all. And okay, I've layered. I thought this was really fun. Um, to layer a nice lightweight long sleeve underneath another lightweight tee and I probably would not have done this Otherwise now you tell me if you think that these black lines count as me wearing black So I don't know you tell me if that's a fail on my no black challenge But I'm still pretty happy with what I'm wearing. I threw on this nice brown vest It's faux fur from Club Monaco and I added my little hat. Also, I learned today that there is a restock of the beautiful power of my people shirt. I'm not wearing it today, probably should have worn it. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna link to a picture or part of my video up there. Um, but this shirt has been restocked. I am in love and apparently last time I talked about it, uh, like within a couple days there was a wait list because it sold so quickly. So if you are one of those people on the wait list, uh, check your email and go to the website. I will leave the link down below because this is just such a fabulous company and a beautiful shirt that I love to wear. So I uh, was really excited to find out about this restock. Um, all right, no black challenge. I'm pretty happy with what I'm wearing. See how tomorrow goes. Today's the last day. Thank goodness. It's been a little bit tough. Not as difficult as that no denim challenge, but uh, what I'm wearing today is this hunter green, gosh, it looks black I think on camera, but it's actually hunter green with my faux fur brown vest. It's Sunday today, so I'm not, I'm very casual I'm heading to Toronto next week, so I've got to stay home and pack and um, do some outfit planning and all that. So I've just got my very comfortable, very ripped and distressed denim. Um, since I'm wa running around the house today, I've got my Converse sneakers again, but because it's so cold, I've, I've thrown my nice chunky wool socks on underneath. And I actually really like this look. I often do this in the fall um, when it's, it's not quite boot weather. So I'll throw on a pair of like fun socks with my Converse sneakers. Um, so that is it. I think aside from that striped sweater yesterday that had black in it, uh, I think I did pretty well for this challenge. However, I really do enjoy wearing black. Um, so I missed it. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to participate in a challenge, if you want to try not wearing either your go-to color or go-to style of garment, um, if you post on Instagram or wherever, just tag hashtag Miss Bell Tempo Challenge. I'm gonna start doing roundups of these outfits that other people come up with because I had quite a couple of people kind of following along and joining in on Instagram. So I'm gonna try and make it a regular thing on my Instagram and um, post some other fun shop your closet challenges. So thank you so, so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to sign up for the newsletter, which I will link down below. Have a great week and I will be back next Sunday with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.